Hey guys, so today I thought I would sit down and play with some more new products from Ulta. We have three different shade face powders here. We have a lip product and a setting spray. So if you guys would like to hear my thoughts and see these in action, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's talk about the powders first. So they have three different powders that recently launched and I'm filming this at the end of May during the stay at home order. And yes, the edges of my hair are still blue green from a color that I tried almost two months ago. Okay, so back to the powders. There is a Zio Zen Skin Balancing Face Powder, which has like a beige tone to it. There is a Flower Power Mattifying Face Powder infused with rose oil, which has like a pink tone to it. And then there is Tea Almighty Correcting Face Powder infused with tea tree oil. And if you don't know, tea tree oil is known to help clarify, help kind of prevent breakouts. Um, so it is good that the green powder is meant for like those red areas. Areas where you get breakouts would typically be red as well. So I get the oiliest here. I get acne down here and I want to brighten up the under eye. So we're going to try each of these powders now. Let's start with some swatches real quick. First one, this is the green powder. This is the Tea Almighty. It does smell like tea tree oil. I'm very familiar with that scent. Like I said, I use it for breakouts. Here is the green powder. Mm. The pink one does smell like roses. I am not a fan of rose scented makeup products. But here is the pink one. That would probably be good for under eye brightening. And finally, we have the Zio Zen beige one. And this one doesn't seem to have a scent to it at all. It says infused with zeolite, but I don't know what that is. It does feel nice and soft. And the mattifying beige one. So I feel like this one might be a little dark if you have fairer skin than I do, but we are going to start with the green powder along the chin, perhaps along the nose area, and then we'll do the mattifying one on the forehead. Starting off with the green powder. I wonder how green this is going to look. I feel like I'm seeing just a little bit of a green hint, a hint of green on the top of my nose. Not so much on my chin, but on the tip of my nose, I can definitely see a little bit of green. So let's uh, brush that off. Okay, the pink one is the mattifying one. I'm also going to use this to brighten the center of the forehead. Oh, yeah, I can't handle the, the scent of this one. Nope, sorry. <laughs> Last one is the Skin Balancing Face Powder, which looks like it might be a little too dark, but I'm just going to apply it lightly everywhere. And I left the under eyes as is because I didn't want to put a mattifying face powder under the eyes. I didn't want to put a green face powder under the eyes. And this one's a little bit deeper than my skin tone, so that really wouldn't help to brighten. But this is what it looks like right now. I think the green leaves too much of a green cast to use around the nose area. The pink one is too scented for me. So the only one that I see myself using moving forward is this balancing face powder. It will kind of just warm up the skin a bit. So. The formula is nice on all these. They're very silky and smooth and soft, but shade wise and scent wise, this is the only one I will see myself using out of the three. So let me hop off, set the under eyes, and we'll be back to try the next two products. Okay, so I dusted a little bit of the Pat McGrath under eye blur powder under the eyes and did the brows. Next, let's try out this lip gel. It's the Green Tea Glow Lip Oil infused with chamomile oil, which is in a lot of like sleepy time teas. It's the only thing that I know chamomile to be for. <laughs> I like Ulta's lip oils. In the past, I've really liked their peach lip oil. Ooh, it's a lot runnier than I was expecting. I was thinking lip gloss as I was squeezing it out, even though I knew it was a lip oil. a slight taste to it feels good the taste is not overpowering it's not like chemically it's not floral 
there's something to it. It's very minor, nothing objectionable. Nice and smooth and slick, not too oily. I like the consistency of their lip oils, so no different with this one. And finally, we have a daily dedication facial spray with lavender flower water, red algae extract, and ginseng extract. This can be used after cleansing, before or after makeup, or throughout the day for a quick pick-me-up. This is what it looks like. Let's see what the mist is like. Getting a couple of large droplets on the hand. Definitely smells like a sleepy time mist. Mm, I think I might wanna keep this one on my bedside table. It'll help relax me at night before bed with that lavender scent. It doesn't add any glow to the makeup. It doesn't really even seem to refresh it much, so I'm not sure if this does much as a setting spray, but I could definitely see using this as a priming spray or during the day just for kind of like a pick-me-up in mood with the lavender scent, or like I said, next to the bed for spraying before bedtime, I really could see this kind of like calming you down before going to sleep, so. It's okay for that purpose, but as a setting spray, I'm not really sure it does much for the makeup itself. So that's it for these new products from Ulta. We have the three powders. As I mentioned, I will use the Zen one, but I'd probably pass on these two. This is a little too green, this is a little too scented. The green tea glow oil does definitely make the lips glow. I think this would be a good thing to put on when you start doing your makeup. And then by the time you get to the end of your makeup, your lips should be nice and soft and like refreshed. So I like this. And as I just mentioned, I would use this before bedtime, but probably not as a final step for my makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my first impressions of these new products from Ulta. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.